Okay, welcome back. This is part two of creating your own template file. And what we're going to do in part two is we're going to create a dimension style, a multi-leader style, and a text style. And this is going to help your dimensions, your leaders, and your text all to be cohesive and appear the same height and um, the same size. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to go back to the drawing that we left off on. <clears throat> Okay, so here we are in um, our template file where we left off, and I'm going to go to the annotation panel, and I'm going to pick on, um, I'm going to pin that, I'm going to pick on dimension style, and we have standard as the current style, and I'm going to pick new, and I'm going to call this style decimal dim for dimension, and because we're going to be using decimal inch dimensions. So let's continue there. And what the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the text tab and I'm going to change the text height to 0.1. I'm going to go to the symbols and arrows tab and I'm going to make my arrowheads 0.125. I'm going to go to the primary units tab and I'm going to change the precision of my decimal dimensions to be three place precision. And I'm also going to suppress the leading zeros. So dimensions that are less than an inch long, you won't see the zero appear before the decimal point. And the last thing I'm going to do is go to the Fit tab, and I'm going to check checkbox Annotative to make the dimensions annotative, which I will explain a little more in depth in another tutorial. OK, so it looks like here we have decimal dim. Uh, the annotative symbol is next to it. I'm going to pick set current and close. And you'll notice here that that is now the current dimension style. We're going to do the same thing for leaders. So let's pick on the multi-leader paintbrush, which brings up multi-leader style. I'm going to pick new. I'm going to call this decimal leader. And in here, uh, under leader format, we're going to change the arrowheads to be an eighth inch, which is 0.125. Okay, um, I'm going to go over to the leader structure tab and I'm going to set the landing distance of the leader. Uh, that's this small part right here to also eighth inch. And I'm going to check box annotative. And then under content, I'm going to change the text height to 0.1 and that matches our dimension style also with a text height of 0.1. Okay, so let's pick OK there and we're going to set current. And now we have our leader style set to call decimal leader. Last one is text style up here at the top. It's the one with the A with the paintbrush. I'm going to pick new and I'm going to call this decimal text. All right, we have a font of Arial. That's fine. I'm going to keep that font. I'm going to check box annotative so that that now our text style is also annotative and our text height is going to be 0.1. That matches the others. Okay, so let's pick set current and close. All right, so now we've created a dimension style, a multi-leader style, and a text style that are all um, have a text height of 0.1 and very similar settings so that our annotations are going to look consistent and professional on our drawings. Okay, so stay tuned for part three and we'll conclude our template file in part three.